Hello everyone, myself I am Uma and I have overall 8 plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and 4 years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session we will see about one DAX function which is called rank X function. So the use case is pretty simple. So here in a table, I have taken the customers. OK, so the data set here is we do have different orders placed by the customers and we do also have the sales made by each customer. OK, all the customers across different dates, what all the products they have purchased and how much sales they have made that information we have. So based on the sales made by the customer, I want to give ranking for all the customers who are available in my data set. OK, so the rank should be like the customer who is making the highest sales. He should be ranked as first rank. The second highest person who is making the highest sales should get second rank like that. I have to rank the customers based on how much sales they have made. That is the use case. OK, now what I did, I selected this table. And just I have used this customer name. I dragged and dropped the customer name from here. OK, now I, I also want to show the total sales and I also want to show the ranks. To those customers. So what I will do first let me create one measure to get the total sales. So I'm selecting this table. I'll try to create one new measure. The measure is total sales. So how to get the total sales? We have to use some function. In this sum function, I already have a sales column. So I'm just using that column and I'll close this. So this will create one measure called total sales. Now let me also drag and drop this total sales. OK, now every customer based on his alphabetical order, if you see starting with A, all the customers and how much sales they are making, everything we are seeing. Now I will sort this based on the sales. I will just click on this. If you see here, the first customer is Sean Miller, who is making the highest sales. And then we can see some customers, the second, third, different customers who are making the highest sales. OK, now. For Sean Miller, I have to give number one. Next for the next customer, I have to give the rank number two. Next the rank number three and so on based on this sales order. Now the sales is in descending because here I have selected. If you click on this arrow symbol, right? It will change ascending value, descending value. It will change accordingly like this, okay? Now based on the highest sales, now this order is arranged in this way. Now let's give ranking for this. To give the ranking for this customer, now I'm going to create one measure. So select this table and go and create one new measure. So here I will give customer rank. So since I want to get the rank, I'm using some function called rank function. As soon as I'm trying, trying to type for this function, I'm getting something called rank. In this, I'm going with rank X function. OK, this is the function I have to use. See this, it returns the rank of an expression evaluated in the current context in the list of values for the expression for each row in the specified table. OK, the first thing is table it is asking and then the expression and um, value is actually optional. The order is also optional and ties is also optional. OK, what are this we will see now. now for me, I want to give this rank, right? So when I'm giving this rank, I have to freeze this. I have to freeze based on the customer name. Only for this column, I want to freeze the value. So I'm not going to give the complete orders table. Rather, instead of giving the orders as a table name, I will also use one more function called all function. I'm using all function to give the table uh, to freeze the value for the customer name. So all I'm giving the customer name. OK, this is my all function. 
instead of table i am giving column name that column name also i am freezing with respect to the customer name because it the value should not change right so that's why i am freezing this customer name column now all what will do all function all will ignore any filters applied it will just freeze the value and it will ignore any filters applied that is about the all filter now i will give the expression so the expression is nothing but based on total sales only i want to give rank to the customers so i am just using this total sales as my expression now value is optional so i don't have any specific values here because already i have given the total sales in the expression i am just skipping this okay and next it is asking for the order should we give ascending or descending obviously descending right the person the customer who has made the highest sales only should get first rank so you you should choose descending descending means top value to the low value highest value to the lowest value we should also give highest sale made customer as rank 1 so you have to go and use this descending order after this again there is one more parameter if you see here it's ties okay in this again there are two options dense and skip if you give dense every customer will give get one rank okay every person will get some rank and if two people are getting the same rank means the sales made by the two customers are same same value then obviously that both the people will get the same rank okay let's take um, the customer the customer with the third one right or let's take this one sanjit let's take sanjit sanjit has uh, his sales is 12209 right 12209 now he is first second third fourth fifth sixth sanjit engel is the sixth one sixth one let's take christopher also made the same kind of sales then both should get sixth rank and the next person should get the seventh rank isn't it so if you use dense you will get in that order you will get in that, that order if the sales are same but here the sales are different but i am telling you an example that if both the sales are same both will get the same rank and the next person will get the next consecutive rank means seventh rank they will get but instead of using dense if you use that skip right if two people are getting um, six here and six here both are getting sixth rank the next rank will be eighth rank because it will skip the seventh rank okay that it will do skip will do will behave in this way it will skip the next rank it will not give the consecutive rank if both the customers are getting the same rank that's why what i am doing instead of skip we will go with the dense because every person should get one rank right based on the sales he has made so i'll just to close this i am just using rank x function in the rank x function i am passing all the parameters table name expression this values i left it blank order i have given descending and here in the ties i have given dense okay and now here i have given the customer name because it has to freeze the value and it has to ignore any filters applied now what i will do this is my rank function i'll click on enter now the measure is created now i'm taking this customer rank here if you see here each customer has got the rank based on how they have made the sales they are getting this rank okay this is about your rank function rank x function where based on the context you can give rank to the specified columns okay so thank you for watching this and uh, please do like share and subscribe to ksa data vision youtube channel and uh, if you need any other dax function please comment in the comment box thank you